What's up everybody? I bought this Pixel 3a from eBay. The ad stated it was from Verizon, but it did not say if it was locked or unlocked. So I put in my Google Fi SIM card, then turned on the phone, and I got this message saying, SIM card isn't supported, contact Verizon to unlock it. So the phone is SIM locked to Verizon. Oh great. In this video, I will show you how I unlocked my Pixel 3a. First, remove the SIM card from the phone. Then perform a factory reset of the phone. Go to Settings. System. Advanced. Reset Options. Erase All Data Factory Reset. When the phone starts back up, skip connecting to a network, set up offline, select next, turn off all Google services, accept the legal terms, skip the screen lock, skip the pin. Next, we have to unlock developer options. Go to settings, about phone, scroll down to build number, tap it until developer options unlock. Go back to settings, system, advanced, developer options, Scroll down to Debugging section and select Allow USB Debugging. Now get a USB-C cable and connect the phone to your laptop. Now pull down until you see Android System Charging Device via USB. Select that. Now select Allow File Transfer. So now the phone is ready to communicate with the computer. I'm sorry for the video quality from here on out. I used my Pixel 2 to record the next section. On your computer, open up a new browser window. Search for Android SDK Platform Tools. It should be the first link that's not an advertisement. Your web page will look like this. I'm selecting the Windows package for my computer. Check the box. Select Download. The tools are in a zipped file. I use WinRAR for my zipped files. You can use whatever you want for your zipped files. I'm going to open this file. There's just one folder inside called Platform Tools. And I drag the folder into my C drive. I check in my C drive to make sure it's there. OK, it's good. Now we have to open a command prompt Click on the Windows icon on the lower left. Then go to the search and search for Command Prompt. Hover over Command Prompt, right click, select Run as Administrator. Select Yes. The current directory is set for a System32 folder. We need to access the Platform Tools folder, which is in the C drive. So let's change the directory. Type CD for change directory, space, capital C for C drive, colon, backslash, now the name of the folder, which is platform hyphen tools. Now press enter. The directory should now be in the platform tools folder. Now type in adb space devices and press enter. It should attempt to communicate with the phone and it will say unauthorized on the lower right. At this point, check your phone. It should be asking you to allow USB debugging. Select Allow. Now go back to the command prompt window. Type ADB space devices and press enter. This time, where it used to say unauthorized, it should now say device on the lower right. Now type in ADB space shell and press enter. You should see a dollar sign pop up. Now you're ready to enter this long code. You can find the code in the description of this video. Highlight the code and copy it. 
back to command prompt, right click in the blinking area, select paste, press enter, and you should see a message that says success if it's good. That's it. You can go to your phone now, insert your SIM, and activate your SIM. Keep in mind, this is not a permanent unlock of the phone. If you do a factory reset of the phone, it will go back to being SIM locked. And you have to do this all over again to unlock it. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Check the video description for more information. And I'll see you in the next one.